in this video we are going to see about the full adder in the previous video we have seen uh, how the half adder is used to add two bits so now next step is how the three bits can be added with the full adder but before that we, we should know why we are going for a three bit addition see here Right, right. Okay, let me push the connector. First, I have a I have a pin called zero and one. Right now, when you add these two, here only two bits are there. When you add these two bits, you are adding only two bits, and when you add these two, one plus zero, it is one, and there is no carry. Right? This is what we have seen in a half adder. Suppose if we have a third bit, which is nothing but the carry of the previous output, previous uh, bits. What do you mean by previous bits? Let us take a numerical example, seven and six, right? Then five and say some H, six. We are going to add this digit and this digit. There are two bits in each input. So let us say this as an A and this as a B. Okay, so A consists of two bits, seven and five. B consists of two digits, eight and six. Now we are going to add these two. So how we will add six plus seven, 13. So three here, and then you will have third bit, isn't it? Here you have only two things to be added, two digits to be added. Whereas here you have three digits to be added. So all these three will be to be added. Whereas here we have only two. So the first thing will be a two bit addition. Whereas when there is a carry, it will be called as three bit addition. Okay, that will be bring down uh, to the next digit and it will be added. So in this case, eight plus five it is 13, 13 plus one, 14. So for that, you put one. Right, carry, you will be writing like this. If there are some more bits, then this, uh, say for example, seven and three. Imagine you have another digit also. Now you will bring this one here. Right, and then you add. So three plus seven, uh, seven plus three, 10 plus one, 11, one, and then you will have a pair. It's all in the normal uh, decimal system, you will be like doing like this. The same thing for binary also. Suppose you have informations like this. See here, if it is like this, imagine. Now what you'll do, one plus one, the first two digit, first digit, that is lowest, that only will be two digits. So one plus one, it is zero and you have a carry. So that will be, take it as a third digit, the one plus one plus zero, it is zero again, and then you have a carry, like this. So if you have another bit, this carry will go there and you will add it as a third bit. So that is what this C is. Okay, so zero plus zero plus zero, you have sum is zero and carry is zero. When you add this one, uh, all these things along with the carry, that is zero, A is zero, B is zero, and one. So naturally you will be having sum as one. So it will sum, and there is no carry, okay? So same way here, zero, one, zero, you have some one, carry zero. And A, here, uh, this, this combination. So you have zero, one, and one. Okay, this, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, that is, uh, you have to write like this, is A is zero and B is one and you write carry here. Okay, let us take carry, you are writing the first digit. So when you do this, zero plus one is one, one plus one it is zero. 
and then you have a carry. That is what here we are seeing. Zero sum, sum, and carry is one. So same way you can see the other inputs also. One plus one it is one zero. So zero is sum and one carry. One plus one again uh, it is one zero. So zero sum and carry is one. Now when you add all these things, one, 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 you have one plus one one zero. One zero plus one it is one zero. When you add these two digits, you have one zero. One zero plus one what will you do? Zero plus one one and then one. This is what we are. So one and one will be the carry and one will be the sum. This is what we are seeing here. Right. Now, uh, we will see this. Here, uh, whatever we have given in the previous step, see here. Uh, you search for the ones in the output and for that you are going to write the equation. So, say for example, you are going to draw the corner path and in, uh, we are going to form the equation. If you are going to write the equation, see here, how you can write, uh, you have to search for one. So, you can write it as, see here, uh, A bar, B bar. So, it is nothing but a bar, B bar, and then what? C. Okay. And then for this, what's it? Uh, A bar, B, C bar. This. A bar, B, and then C bar. And so on. So you have to write the corresponding combination. This is A, B bar, C bar. And this A, B, C. And this is what? We have written here. Uh, instead of A, B, C, here we have given the term X, Y, and Z. You can give A, B, and C also. So, and we write the respective ones in the respective place. So, this, this represents 0, this represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Now, if you see this, uh, where and all we have the ones, we have 1 in, uh, if you take this, the, binary, the decimal equivalent of this 0, 1, 2, 3, and up to 7. So, 0 and 1 we have, 1 and 2 we have uh, 1 here. So, 0 and 1. Okay, there we put 1. 2, this is the position 2. So, there we put 1. Then, the previous one, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 we have 1, and then 5, there is no 6 and 7. So, 4. Uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 we have 1, 4. 5 is not there. Then 6 and 7. 6 and 7. Sorry, just 7. I have confused with this. So 4 and 7. Right. So, and you mark them, you will be having this equation. Same way for uh, carry. For carry. Uh, you have to check where it has 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3. For 3, uh, 4 we don't have, 5, 6, 7 we have. So there you put the 1 and you form pairs. Here we are not able to form the pairs, etc. So uh, this we can form like this. Uh, we can form the equation like this. And then uh, uh, we have to uh, draw the logic circuit for this. So when we draw the logic circuit, we can have like this. That is uh, actually uh, full adder can be formed with two half adder and one OR gain. So two half adder is, uh, the first half adder will have A and B and the output will be the sum. The carry will be sent to an OR gain. And then the third input that is carry in, that is given as an input for the another half adder because the sum is given as one input and third input is given as another input for the second half adder and then the sum will be given uh, from that the whatever is coming output of the second half adder will be the sum and it's uh, carry is given as an input for the OR gate finally together you will get a uh, from the OR gate you have to take the carry for the full adder right now 
if you take this you can draw the circuit diagram like this so we'll check whether uh, the circuit diagram how to uh, how to check with the logism now this is your logism now we'll check what we have to draw an xor gate and then an and gate this together form the of adder and this is nothing but a and b so you give the input like this okay is to our input and the output of this will be sent for another of adder so here we have to draw another of adder x r then and gate yes. now the input so we check our circuit diagram is the output is it sent to an uh, or gate and here uh, carry in will be given for this okay so third input as the let us say so this is a b and then this is the carry in now the output of this the output of this will be given as an input for the or gate so let us take an or gate so an or gate and it carries both the carries are combined and this will be given as an input now for this uh input will be uh one from the sum and another from the third input okay so here okay now you the output uh, now we have to connect the output we can connect either this or to know promptly we can take this led now we'll check for the input now oh, let me go to that loop table we have to check this loop table okay so now we'll check whether a is b is zero now both are both are zero a sum is zero and carry zero 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 one so here zero zero for carry i put one now you can see sum this is sum and this is carry right so sum is 1 and carry is 0 now 0 1 0 a is 0 and b is 1 and c is 0 now you can see a b is 0 sum is 1 and carry is 0 then uh, what's the next combination a is 0 b and c are 1 so 1 1 here sum is 0 see sum is 0 and carry is 1 then let us say all are one the last one 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 so both sum and carry is one if you take this the one one zero make it one one zero now you can see one one zero sum is zero and carry is one so now you are able to uh, now you can uh, be able to verify your answer right now uh, this is how you can form the logical circuit and you can verify your answer so the next one we are going to say is binary adder that we will see in the next recording